The Frankfurt Auto Show opened this week with more than 900 exhibitors from all over the world. And stealing the show are nearly 100 new electric car models, either already in production or close to it. Which is not to say that going electric means having to trade in your old gas guzzler. In fact, making the switch could be a matter of simply going to the right garage. Greg Abbott may look like just another mechanic in an L.A. garage, but he's the spark of an underground movement. The business that I've got is taking existing cars and converting them to electric. There's actually a huge market there. He is known as Gadget. Well, I am the Pied Piper, I'm an instigator, and I'll get other people to come in and make things happen. And he's the unlikely star of the film Revenge of the Electric Car, which tracks the death and rebirth of an industry that has struggled along for more than a decade. I have another car just for parts. Filmmaker Chris Payne recognized Gadget's role in getting the technology out on the road. Somebody's got to be the first one out there. People like Gadget keep setting the example. So I think this is a much more powerful um, seed in the way things change than maybe people give credit for. Gadget's been in the forefront of electric conversions long before there was Silicon Valley upstart Tesla. Until we see every car on the road uh, being electric, uh, you know, we will not stop. Long before GM's famed car guy, Bob Lutz, would see the light and launch production on the Chevy Volt, even before Nissan's Leaf. Zero emissions, zero particles, zero noise, zero oil. Gadget was there, patiently working out the technology. It's at its own pace, because it takes a while to develop this stuff. Along with his wife, Scarlett, Gadget suffered many setbacks, including a major fire. Everything had burned. I thought everything was lost. And then as I started prying the cars open. The light's still on, the controller's still good. And I see lit LEDs and I go, oh, wow. <laughs> With that, I can build a car. I've never had that mindset that something's gonna stop me. Despite that bump in the road, Gadget kept moving. We were living in a bus in the parking lot for two months. It still didn't stop us. Today, with a new shop and upgraded Sorry, tools, man. he's a month away from packaging a kit for mechanics across the country to convert everyday cars to electric. We do a little bit here, a little bit there, and you know, subtle changes. The next thing you know, the whole system has changed. It's a slow revolution. It's not a giant bloody revolution. Gadget's movie, The Revenge of the Electric Car, opens across the country next month.